Are you going to start talking about We're live, dude. This is episode one, ep one of the hottest take, guys. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome all the dogs. Hey, Welcome yo. all the dudes. It's a, it's the three it's yeah. the three dogs in here. We got Dalt, Dave, myself, Dylan, obviously. Um, <laughs> welcome. This is the first one. We will, uh, you know, this is this is this is a uh, this is a work in progress. Would you say, boys? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Happy to, happy to be here. Yeah, oh, dude, yeah. we're we're excited. We're excited. We're finally getting one off the ground. Um, like this one's gonna be. This one's for the dogs. This one's absolutely for the dogs. We're we're doing all our we're doing our favorite shit. I think everybody's favorite thing to do, which is talk bullshit about sports, um, make horrible takes, and shit on each other for them, right? Absolutely. I think, I think that's what I think yeah. that's what every group of friends who watches sports likes to do is just uh, they all have one dude who just makes horrible takes. Now our in-house horrible yeah. taker is Dalton. Wouldn't you say? That's. I mean, that's a matter of opinion, but <laughs> dude, I, I, it's, <laughs> I, he, he's gonna have to defend himself, right? Right, 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 right. That's true. But no, I would say uh, the highest takes definitely come from Dalton. Now, dude, sometimes they hit. Sometimes they hit, folks. I'm telling y'all, y'all want to keep an ear on this guy. He's he, he. Some of them hit. Kirk Cousins probably his biggest is probably his biggest take. Smooth twenty percent, <laughs> but hey, that twenty percent is a good payday when it hits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, hey guys, if you want to make money, listen to this podcast. It's the little wins, <laughs> small go, wins. If you want to go in the hole deep, but make it back, make it back by ten percent. This is the podcast for you. Yeah, absolutely. We'll, Just we'll, to head we'll, back. <laughs> no, yeah. So, guys, uh, dogs, boys, fans, listeners, like uh, this, is the podcast come to. We'll always, you know, have chat about some headlines, whatever's going on in the week. But you know, the centerpiece to this podcast is definitely going to be uh, Dalton's hot takes. I think absolutely, he's got absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Now, this episode is a short one. We just want to kind of get uh, comfy in the ch- in the chairs under the mics. Um, oh yeah, a little mm-hmm. test run, absolutely. Look, good crisp Saturday morning, a little college football going on. Nothing yeah, yeah, yeah. talk a little sports. Yeah, yeah, we're we're we are recording while football yeah. is going on. What are the I scores just, right I, now? Oh, we got a three nothing against Texas. Ooh. They just hit a, they just hit a good fifty two yard field goal. B, that's Alabama, big. Alabama, Alabama's up three nothing. That's big. Horns down. Horns, Horns down. down, baby. Horns, Horns down. down. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I just gotta spread the love. I can't just hit all these parlays and you know not give anybody a bite. <laughs> How many parlays are you hitting these days? These days, uh, yeah. yeah, you're you're gonna have to specify. All right, since college football has started, how many parlays have you hit? Oh, I hit uh, abs- I hit a solid zero last week, <laughs> but but I was zero for one or zero for yeah zero for one. So yeah, 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 dude. We're gonna up that though. It was a lot. Yeah. It was a yeah. Lot. A uh, 270 is a decent bad average. Shocker, yeah, shocker. what was that? that? Ole Miss, Ole Miss tanked it. Yeah, dude, fuck the yeah. Rebels. Episode F1, dude, fuck the Rebels. I don't <laughs> care, dude. You that, can't, uh... and, and the hot take himself is a Ole Miss, Ole Miss Rebel fan. Yeah, it Indeed. fucking sucks. Indeed. Dude, can't Indeed, cover the like can't cover spread against Troy. Uh, till I die. Uh, it, it was a project week. Oh yeah, what were they working on? It was uh, the, I think they had to figure out uh, who their, all who their starting quarterback was. Uh, Is that why they gave up ten? Work out the kinks with, work out the kinks with the defense. That <laughs> felt pretty good. Yeah, working out the kinks. Yeah, give up ten against Troy. Work out all those, all those small kinks. Yeah, man. Um. <laughs> I mean, the second the second half defense wasn't really necessarily that good. The first half was pretty good. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I think I think yeah. uh, I think Kiffin realized last night that he uh, made a mistake getting rid of Plumley. Also, oh, you think so? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Well, he, he ran he all brought, over Louisville. He, he, he realized he was running week for his one life, that he did this week. Oh yeah, he was running for his life though. I mean, look, dude, he's week got a guy one, named he, Dart with the with the keys now. Yeah, he throws darts. Dot, yeah, darts. It's, it's, it's his name, dude. <laughs> it's his, <laughs> he's throwing darts out there, bro. How can no. you not trust a guy that is that can play piano at quarterback? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, does he really? Oh, he's, is he musically he's actually, inclined? Absolutely, he's actually really good at piano. Really, the Beethoven of SEC football. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and he's he all 
also hits those swings to bat on the baseball field, hits dingers. Dart does? Yeah, he's playing. No, uh, I thought you were talking about Plumlee. Dart's no, I'm, still, where's, I'm talking Dart. about Plumlee. Oh, we're on Plumlee. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Before we get into before we get into any of the sports things, I just want to make one other thing clear about this podcast. In the little bit of an introduction, is that dude? We're this is open to the viewers to lambast our fucking uh, horrible takes or opinions, whatever you want to say in the comments, guys. It, it, it's open. It's open. Um, we're going to shit on each other, so you you are very welcome to do the same in the comments. That's kind of what we want this thing to be. Eventually, we want to get like a voting board up where we can kind of put some of the really bad takes that we've had on this podcast, and you guys can vote on it and kind of tell us <laughs> where, where we stand on what was the worst. Um, but until then, uh, you know, dude, just just whatever you want to say in the comments, dude. We don't care, do we, boys? Does anybody care? No, all love here, all love here. But I, I will say, I will say, we are going to give you some hot takes, but. We will be giving you what we think are actual locks by the end of the episode. So at least two safe picks that you can go home. Yeah, with. yeah, put, yeah. Put it in your pocket. Put it in your pocket and then have a good, pay- have a decent payday. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude, guys, this is where it's coming. Hot takes, big payouts, dude. It's all here. Where? What else are you listening big to? Pay- huge payouts. We're talking about plus thirty thousands. <laughs> dude, wait, this is this is taking over. The hottest take will take. This is taking over, plus- dude. Plus thirty thousand plus. That's yeah, dude. what we're calling. These are the takes that the IRS is gonna show up at your front door for. You you had to pay for ESPN plus, dude. We're doing this for free. We're giving you guys money. Yeah. We're giving you yeah. guys money as long as you tune in. Bro, come on. The key to success, we're just literally handing it to you. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, listen, as long as you're tuned in, dude, I guarantee I don't want to guarantee too much here. Uh, a, a, a few minutes, a few, a few good ones. A few, I'll guarantee least, a few good at ones. At least like, at least like thirty percent. Thirty? That's solid. Thirty percent is a solid. Thirty solid is a, is a super solid parlay win rate or success and coming, rate. And coming from us live, Texas just Texas just threw a forty yard bomb. Touchdown. Yes. Wait, oh. hey, I take that back. There, he was evidently out of bounds because he dropped the ball in the end zone. Oh, oh come on, man. come on, to Horns. Go on Al- to go up on Alabama, seven to three. Oh, come on, dude. Crimson Tide, bro. Are we worn out on them yet? Is that is that a hot take? Are we just worn out on Alabama being I, good? Absolutely not, because they're an easy payday. <laughs> For the, all right, so I'll the take, betters, dude. I'll take Alabama, Fred. Yeah, okay. I, I I mean I can understand. I'm just I'm a little bit it's it's almost getting old, the Alabama football. Yeah, I'm ta- I'm taking an Alabama spread every week possible. That's a good question. Um, Who's next? Well, cuz eventually one day this has to come to an end, right? The whole Alabama absolutely. dynasty has to come to an end eventually. Who is who who do we think is going to be taking over that spot? The top dog. Like they're bringing back USC. Slowly but surely. Really? Yeah, uh, I, I agree with that take. Um, uh, Alabama, I think, in my opinion, Alabama will always be in top top four no matter what. Yeah. Um, I would love to see the uh, like the USC, like a Matt Liner uh, traditional coming back. Um, but Georgia, Georgia, Alabama, it's SEC is always going to be the top. They're always going to. Yeah, Curry Smart is going to be there forever. I Absolutely. Think. I think Absolutely. he'll be there for a very, very long time. Yeah, I think it's, it's gonna be it Kentucky. Just comes down to recruiting. Yeah, I think it's gonna be Kentucky. You think it's gonna be Kentucky? Really? I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I think. Well, okay, I, think, on, I think if I think if anybody's a rebuilding program that's looking crazy is uh, well, it's not re- really rebuilding anymore, but they have been in recent years joining the SEC and everything. Texas A and M, they just landed the best ever recruiting class. Absolutely, I like that take. Yeah. I do. So the number, so, the number one recruiting class of all time. West. No, Jimbo Fish, Jimbo Fisher at A and M. He's, I mean, kind of building a. He has like a, a definitely above Nick Saban uh, caliber recruiting class. Obviously, it's the best ever. Which obviously Nick Saban has, probably the other nine out of ten top ten uh, recruiting classes ever. I like it. Uh, see, I like I like that take. And since we're on the college football topic, uh, what do y'all about? What do y'all think about the twelve team playoff? I'm excited about it, dude. I think that should have been in order a long time ago. 
Yeah, I, I see they're bump. They're trying to bump it to 2024, but they uh, I, they don't think they're going to get it done before the 2026 deadline. Which is a long time to wait, but it's going to be exciting. I, 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 it gives it gives your it gives your Texas a and M's and your Miami's and even your old Miss. UCF. It, it, right, UCF, Ole Miss, it, 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 Baylor. It gives everybody a chance, and I mean, even the player, even the teams that are undefeated and stuck in the fifth, sixth, uh, sixth seed. I mean, it just gives them a fighting chance, and it, it levels the playing field, honestly. Yeah, yeah, it makes it, us wait a little bit longer to see who Alabama shits on in the last game. Right. I mean, <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, it comes down to uh, who is Alabama or Georgia going to be the shit out of in the yeah, last game. Yeah, who are they going to try pounce on, dude, at the end? No, but it gives us some suspense. Who's going to eat shit? Everybody rubbing their hands, wait, watching Cincinnati just get abolished by them, dude. It's awesome. Right. Yeah. But I no, think, I think Cincinnati. I think Cincinnati's reigns a little. I think it's over. You think it's think over? You think it's done already? I, I think they're. I think they're. You know, top. I think they're battling for the uh, college playoff right now. Is done if, at least for right now, like the next few years coming. Desmond Ritter was. I feel like Desmond Ritter really carried them for, like, uh, the years he was there, carried them to, like, what they were. No, I what can they see that. apparently yeah. still think they are. No, but, I mean, dude, I think the problem is when you're, like, you have a program like that where they're, like, always at least decent, you know, like how Cincinnati has been. Mm-hmm. Um, and they have right. one really good year. They have a really hard – programs have a hard time kind of realigning themselves to being, like, okay, we're just decent again. And there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. But it's like I think that's a it's a hard pill to swallow. Right. Oh yeah. I agree. I mean, I saw what I saw last year. I mean, they made the playoffs last year, but you could tell that they weren't they weren't ready. If they, you know what I mean, they weren't ready for that level of competition, especially for, I mean, in Alabama or going against the SEC team like Alabama. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Right. No way. And I know that. that sucks being a that sucks being a fan too because I remember you, a bit, us being all Ole Miss State fans. I remember you know ten years ago, less than, where Ole Miss and Mississippi State were you know one and number one number one and number three in the country. And yeah, it was that, that lasted for all of till. Yeah, that lasted all of till we both played Alabama. Right. Then. Absolutely. And I still I still have to, I still have that Sports Illustrated when they you know they had the split cover of uh, Ole Miss and Mississippi State number one and two. Yeah, it, dude. Yeah, like so going. For, SEC teams aren't ready to play Alabama, <laughs> like no, or Georgia. No, no, it's not. It's it's not a. It's not. It's, Alabama's definitely in their own playing field. Like they, there's no there's no competition for Alabama really. Besides, you know the high end Georgia, and probably really anybody. I don't. I couldn't think of anybody else. I saw Ohio State Notre Dame play, and even though Notre Dame and Ohio State look good in that first half, I don't see either of them playing with Alabama. No, you, I don't either. Dude, by do you? I, hey man, fighting Irish, dude, yeah. classy bunch, bro. Classy oh, bunch. Absolutely. Uh, that's an, but that's another that's another uh, powerhouse that's kind of tinkered down that I would like to see back up top again. Notre Dame. Yes, Notre Dame. Dude, yeah, bro. Come on, we haven't seen a really, really good Notre Dame team since Montateo got catfished by that dude. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as Montateo got his name drugged through the mud by that guy, uh, that like, dude, the, the the Irish have been down. Dude, have y'all watched that docu? Mary, speaking of that's what I was exactly what I was about to say. Uh, I, it was actually really good. It just it just kind of reminded me uh, how gullible that somebody can be. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, dude. But dude, the most insane part of that whole thing, by far, oh, was like absolutely. that. That was one person. Like, there's what? a part where they're talking about like how he called and the, the the he the dude was acting like the girl's brother, right? He was like, "Bro, I don't know what you're doing, but she's like, she's making a full recovery right now." The doctor said he's never seen anything like this. Just keep speaking. And, like, yeah. you, you listen to that, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's crazy. Then you're like, oh, no, that's one dude doing, like, three parts. Like, he's playing the doctor, the girlfriend, and the brother, <laughs> like, on one yeah. phone call. And it's like – and then that guy's just, like, they interview them, and they're like, yeah, it was kind of fucked up what I did, whatever. And it's like, man, that's insane. That, that That's nut. That's crazy and, behavior. Until that documentary came out, the whole entire sports world had that completely – like, had the – uh media had misled the entire sport. Yeah, completely wrong. Well, also because dude, that was, people forgot like or forget now that 
that happened to Teo Montetea before, like catfishing was like a co- like common knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. mm-hmm. well, everybody thought. I remember everybody thought he just made that made the girl up. Do you remember that? Like everybody just thinking the girlfriend was fake. Yeah, yeah, that, that's exactly that's what I'm saying. It was literally everybody thought that he like until this came out that that he was he had just made up this imaginary girlfriend and he was trying to tell him because pretty much. They wanted to make it sound like Manti Teo wanted the entire sports world to feel bad for him to build a story. Right. Him. Yeah. Right. But that's not at all the case. My, yeah. No. My big or my what I was most most surprised with is the profile and name that she used and the pro, uh, that of the real girl that she a real woman that she, uh, she she used. Yeah. That this girl was a. I mean, had no idea. I guess she never watched sports or anything like this. <laughs> even, when, even when this girl was sick, or, or supposedly sick. Yeah, like all over was, ESPN and stuff. All over ESPN, the news, everything like that. And she just got a random text from us, from some people trying to uh, crack the story and saying, hey, you know your profile's being used. And she yeah. had no you know idea. You're da- she, you know you're dating an NFL prospect? Like, <laughs> yeah. Right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 also, oh, also, you came back from the dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You've been dating my dad for like four years, dude. That was the nuts part, bro. Four years, never seen her. Four years, dude. Four years. Never met her in person. That's nuts. His par- and you could tell his parents in the documentary are just so disappointed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot, that was a, dude. That was a really tough part. Like, where like you could tell the dad and mom were like. Dude, yeah, you could, the, dad, the dad, the like, like we told, like we so told, we told him. Yeah, yeah. dad, like yeah. I mean, come on, you, you pretty much essentially what he said was, you, you're telling me you've been dating this girl for however four, two, two to four years, and you've never met her, and he's like, oh, the comp- it's a complicated situation. Like, no, it's not. No, Nothing's not at that all. complicated. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. Um, yep. uh, oh, you've only talked on the phone. You haven't Facetimed or Skyped at all. Yeah, definitely, definitely, uh, definitely a uh, one of those. Yeah. She, like, he brought her back to life, guys. The doctor's yeah, never he, seen a recovery like that, ever. Yeah, uh, by a phone call. <laughs> a phone call, my dad's voice is magical, dude. It brings people back to life. <laughs> all right, well, let's, let's let's move on from college football. Let's talk about a little bit about yeah. pro football. All right, since let's this go. is Saturday the, the 10th, uh, we've had one game played so far, which was a very interesting in many ways, right? I would say the Bills and the, uh, the Rams game Thursday was – did not go the way I thought. I, I kind of was – I was thinking the Bills would pull that one out. I really did. But I did not think it would be in that manner at all. Uh, uh, yeah. I, there's a lot to take, take from this game. Yeah, I, I thought the uh, I thought the Rams – I thought the Rams' pass offense was definitely going to be a lot better. I also thought that the uh, Rams' defense was going to hold up a little better, which their pass was pretty – really good. And the Bills' offensive line held up a little bit, but – I think Josh Allen's just a little too good for that defense, to be honest. Yeah, dude. I mean, he, he throws two picks and still scores four touchdowns, right? I mean, and and that one of his one of his picks, although I will say, was one hundred percent, ten percent, not his fault. <laughs> yeah, 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 true, true, true. But still, I, but I will say, it props to Josh Allen, but the Bills defense. Congrats to whoever has Bills defense in the fantasy because that's the best I've seen them play. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean. Von Miller ate them alive, and which I know it hurts the Rams to see the, him them in a Bills uniform and to lose him. But I mean, he had a hell of a game. Yeah, yeah. but dude, yeah. you got Von, Ed Oliver, Von Miller. Yeah, look, absolutely. dude, you got a guy on your defense named Boogie Basham, dude. You're gonna get shit done. You're gonna get Boogie mad, Basham. Dude. You're gonna get shit done with Boogie Basham. Is that an all-time NFL name right there, by the way? Besides what my Clinton Dix. Boogie um, Basham. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, Boogie because Bash, NFL yeah. does have an all-time, all-time, all-name team. Yeah. Oh, that's that, that's yeah. up there. I think Boogie Basham goes in uh, immediately, especially after getting a pick. DN getting a pick. D, we love the big boys get the ball. Absolutely, that's top, Wake, that's a top ten name. Big <laughs> Wake Forest alum. Yeah, he is Wake Forest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Wake Forest. Yeah, the uh, but the Bills defensive line. Definitely look with Von Miller. Obviously, Von Miller, I guess, was the missing piece to that pass rush because it even made Ed Oliver play better because Ed Oliver was tearing the um, Rams' offensive line up. I think he had two sacks as well. I think 
him and Von Miller both had two sacks. It might have been two, one and a half, but yeah. I know. But do you I saw, think this was a Ed Oliver in the backfield a couple plays? Right. But do you think this was a bigger win for the Bills or a huge, like a bigger loss for the Rams? Who do you need that like affected more going into this season? That affected the Rams. All, yeah, I think it'll affect the Rams more. I think it's I think it's like a uh, one of those tough hit uh, losses for the Rams because first first game coming off the Super Bowl and Absolutely. you know yeah. you're you're, first, all, you're you're high off the Super Bowl still. You're coming in confident. Uh I mean, also, uh, who would have thought? I mean, McVay's what five and zero for uh, on for, on season openers. Yes, yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, five yeah. and zero on season, season openers. Uh, he shits the bed. What was it, thirty one ten? Yeah. Yeah. Like, still, still. Go ahead, Altar. Go ahead. No, you're good. No, I was just saying that, like, it, you you have like you go out too, and everyone plays like dog shit except one dude. Absolutely. Yeah. Cooper yeah, Cup Cooper, tried his Cooper damnedest Cup. to make that game at least yeah. decent. Like he was oh, trying yeah. out there, bro. 128 yards. I mean, he tried. He, he, I, I guarantee you, if I if I was if I was Cooper Cup, I would went to sideline and just told him, told everybody, just give me the damn ball, let me work. Yeah, no, I bet yeah, that was what Cam Akers was saying instead. Yeah, yeah Dalton. <laughs> Dalton uh, that's what I was about to say. Dalton, let me let me get your opinion. What, what do you think is going on with Cam Akers right now? I uh, probably I honestly think that it's a lot of uh it, it's a lot to do with the uh like the um ability they have in the backfield because I mean Daryl Henderson's still a really good running back uh mm-hmm. coming at, like just in every aspect really as far as uh you know co- college play I think honestly probably a better college running back than Cam Akers but Cam Akers obviously a better recruit coming out of high school better uh, NFL prospect uh, rank rated than uh. But, uh, you know, Cam Akers with the injury last year, you know, missing most of the season, I think it had a little bit to do with it. They want to test the waters before they get him in there, make sure he's doing good in practice and everything, 100%, back to 100% before they're giving him, you know, at least 80-20 workloads. So do you think that uh, what I'm getting at is do you think there's something going on behind the scenes that we don't know about? No. I, I per- Like I said, personally, I feel like, I feel like it, it has a lot to do with, the injury, uh, him coming off injury and getting back to 100% from a torn, what was it torn ACL or was it meniscus? It was. I believe it was ACL. It was an ACL that he got. Yeah, Cam Akers. You're talking about, we're talking about Cam Akers still, right? Yeah, yeah. Cam Akers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I yeah, believe it was, it was ACL. Uh, no, 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 no. I think it was, uh, he had an Achilles injury. Yeah, ACL. Is that ACL? No. Yeah. ACL is short for Achilles. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No. Uh-uh. All right. Do- no, no, sorry. Dr. Hardison. What? Go ahead. No, just go ahead. <laughs> no, that is not what that is. No. Achilles is in your ankle. ACL is like a- a- your knee. Just think about it. A- a- C- a- ch- Achilles. Achilles. <laughs> nah, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the ACL is in your knee. I'm pretty sure. Obviously, your Achilles is in your heel. But, uh. Uh, no. <laughs> what's it called? The ACL uh, is your. It's your. Um, outer. It's your no, outer. It's, it's, out your, <laughs> it's your anterior ligament in your knee. Your Achilles yeah. is in your ankle, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. In your heel, and then I mean, obviously, I said it first. I said it was the same. I don't know. Not a big sports injury person. I just know. You know, you tear your Achilles, you tear your ACL. It's pretty, pretty much the same. You know, it's a it's a season injury. Right, injury. Right. Either way. But uh, back to it though. But <laughs> props to Daryl Henderson, man. I mean, give it up to the Mississippi guy. Yeah, he's a, he's a dog. But I will say, I don't think he is a full time starting wide, uh, starting running back caliber. Yeah, no, no, it's not the it's caliber. I think I think Henderson's the load. I don't think he. I don't know if he's like just up for a full season of taking that right. load all year. I mean, right. how? I think I think Cam Akers will back. Like I said, I think it's just him getting one hundred percent, and yeah, them being them being just about. Honestly, I think they're kind of like uh in the same region as far as ability and caliber and everything. I think, really? Uh, I think Henderson was a good call for week one, considering him considering Akers coming off injury for uh from like like you know from last season. Where did, where, where was Akers selected? Like round two. Um, I believe it was. I believe it was later than that. Henderson. Henderson was like round three because he was at Memphis that year, right? Yeah, he was at Memphis. Acres was at Florida State. 
That's right. Before that, Clint High School, bro. Mississippi yeah, made. Mississippi made. Yeah, Daryl Henderson from South Panola. Oh yeah, both are Mississippi made, dude. Shout out, shout out, yep. Sip. shout out to Sip. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah I, I was just, I was really surprised at the Rams, like, uh, inability to score, obviously. And I was like, really, I just was like, I kind of got caught up in like the hype on the Bills in that game. Like, I was about them. Like, oh, absolutely. The, yeah, Bills fans and the team, they like, they can get me into them pretty quick. I, I, I'm, I can kind of get bought into a team like that. Dude, they're a little rowdy, you know. I like them. I, I just, oh, I, I have my money on the Bills to begin with. For the year, yeah. No, 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 not for the year. Uh, they, they are, they are definitely a contender. But for this game, I had the Bills one hundred percent. Um, my biggest thing taken from Matthew Stafford though, he just oh. didn't feel comfortable in the pocket. Uh, to me, he didn't look comfortable in the pocket to me. Uh, his offensive line didn't do a great job giving him time back there, and also he wasn't the he wasn't spreading it around the field like he needed to he kept his eyes on cup which is not a i mean that is not a mistake to keep your eyes on mm-hmm, cup, no. but and you've got a new addition to the team alan robinson over there and, mm. and he didn't even give him a look he gave him a he, he threw the ball to him twice only got one reception he didn't even look his way it's it, which is a mistake to me he needs to he needs to spread out the field and it, it would be a, alan robinson's a great wide receiver yeah no i, I mean, think dude it's hard to come back, I feel like for a lot of quarterbacks to come back after winning a Super Bowl and get as locked in. And especially, like, when you finally win one after so long, dude. Because, you know, Stafford's been putting in that fucking work trying to get one of these damn rings, dude. And now he has one. Yeah, we're just going to do this, like, I just don't know if his mentality is the same. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, it, I it's, it's tough to do that. I, I felt like I felt like coming in that the uh, that I felt like it was going to be Bills uh, at first until I heard that Tre'Davious White was out first four games of the season, considering that's the, you know arguably the best corner in the league. Versus you know the Rams still having their full healthy defense. I thought the Bills defense was going to lack a little bit and pretty much the pa- just the passing game at least, but. I, I definitely think that made up for it in the past for us and made it easier for their corners and defensive backs. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, dude. I, I think I think it's uh, it's definitely going to be an interesting NFL season in general. I think we're going to see a lot of games like this where we're a little bit surprised about the outcome of them where maybe a team that we thought was a lot more solid just comes out to be <laughs> have a dog remember, shit game. I mean, this won't happen. I mean, um, you you got to remember, it's uh, first week. First week. I mean, they – they just got to get back in the groove again. Yeah, so that's mm-hmm. why, since it's first week, yes. and I can't, we're, we're definitely kinda, not a tell all. We're getting to, uh, no, we wanted, not. we want this episode to be short, um, just because it's our first one, so we can get kind of familiar with a lot of stuff. Let's right. go ahead and week one, dog. Week one. We've only literally, not even a full week one yet, just one game in. Who wins the Super Bowl? This is our hot take. Uh, is talking, who is it? Who wins the Super Bowl? Yeah, who does everybody need to go put their, literally their fucking mortgage on, dude? Who, who, where they need to go? I'm, if, if, and right now, I would definitely have to say. I would definitely have to. Say, I would say the Bills. Bills, Bills Mafia. Y'all heard it here first, boys, girls. Yeah. Write that down. Yeah, Somebody put that first. in the comments. Dal- Dalton's big pick, first take, first big one, week one pick for the Super Bowl. Bills Mafia. Is that we. I, I think. I think you. I think if you put together the. Uh, if you put together their defense once Tredavious White gets back, if it, I mean, if it gets any better, it's going to be scary. It's going to be like a repeat of the, what was it, 2019 Patriots defense? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It'll be yeah, probably I similar well, to that. Honestly, no, uh, for, a, for a hot take on, on the Super Bowl, I, I agree with Dalton. I feel like the Bills would do. They've got the talent to do it. They just got to put it all together through the season. Well, here how much yeah. I think, uh, dude, I believe in these takes, guys, folks out there, all the dogs listening. I believe in these things. I'm going to put my mortgage on it today. Mortgage, hey, mortgage go. down. <laughs> we, we, they got on the bill. probably probably the most underrated receiving core in in the league. Honestly, yeah. Oh, absolutely. No, but dude, look, fuck a fuck all the crypto podcasts. Fuck all that. You don't need Bitcoin. You don't need Ethereum. 
You don't need all that dumb shit. You need fucking cash take, money. Cash money. Take it to the fucking casino. Tell them I want Bills Mafia for the fucking Super Bowl and uh, get ready to have a new life, a new car, a new house, probably a new wife with all this money you got in your pocket now. Get Brand ready to take it wife. to the bank, fellas. Get ready to take it to the bank. <laughs> we think. Take what do we think? House. We like that. Oh uh, yeah, one hundred. It, it, it's a ninety-nine one percent uh, chance to the rest of the NFL. Did y'all hear that? But the, but the sleeper but the sleeper team I definitely think I think oh, they're the sleeper yeah. team. All right, folks, you ready? Put this I, one in your back pocket. Put this one in your back pocket, dogs. Here we go. I think I think the sleeper team is going to be the Raiders. Oh, Ooh. damn, Dalton! You going to drop that the at Raiders. the end? What are you doing? They right now lost. Yes, the Raiders for for the underdog team playoff. You know, late playoff push. I, th- I think the Raiders can pull. That's what I'm talking about, folks. Run. Dude, our legitimacy is on the line with takes like that, bro. Raiders, <laughs> the pocket pick for the Super Bowl. All right, so bills Ooh. in the front pocket, folks. Go ahead and drop that mortgage on that right now. But you get like a bonus this year. Throw that bitch on the fucking Raiders. Throw it on the Raiders. The Raiders, the Raiders is about to be probably a very, uh, very intense air raid team. Considering you know the the recent um, degress. Uh, and the running game with them because, you know, they lost lost Kenyon Drake. Josh Jacobs had a um, pretty mid-year last year. But, I mean, they did pick up Zamira White in the draft who did real good in the preseason. So yeah, we'll dude, how I do like Josh Jacobs, though. I really do. I did, too. But I also I also was a big fan of Miles Sanders until yeah. I drafted him in fantasy last year and he didn't score. A <laughs> dude, running backs um, just sometimes don't pan out. That's just that's yeah. how it kind of goes. It, it, unfortunately, that's kind of one of those positions where like guys can come in hot off court, like fucking college, and just not pan out. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Dalton and uh, Dylan, since we're yeah. on the Raiders, I'll I'll ask about Devontae Adams. How do y'all think he's going to do without Aaron Rodgers? And I know that I know that Derek Carr was his quarterback in college at Fresno State. So how do you think that's? Oh yeah, they Devontae played Adams together, here? didn't they? Yeah, so they've already they've got a chemistry established. I forgot all that. about that. I was thinking about that the other day. They almost died together. Yeah. They dude, they're, died they're, together. yeah, they, that makes you brothers for life. Like, yeah, almost died. Ah, together. dude, yeah. I, I hope I, he does good because I like. Well, first of all, I like Carr. I do actually. I like Carr. So yeah, he's underrated. Very yes, underrated. I like Carr, and I think Abs might bring out a better car, honestly. I think that might be what happens there. I think I think I think the combination of adding Adams with Renfro and Waller is gonna yeah. add some like having that variety to to, you know, mix around the field is gonna be dangerous. I agree. Pro- and, and, and and touch on Renfro, props for the boy. Props for the for the Clemson boy getting his payday this uh, this year. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Dude. Renfro, but yeah. Renfro is a big like I said, there was uh they were mentioning a uh on ESPN, they were mentioning uh, about you know their the top receivers in the league. I, I can't remember the defensive back that it was. They were asking, but asking who his uh you know hardest to defend was, and it was you know he had Hunter Renfro up there with people like King Allen and big name rec- veteran yeah. receivers. A fifth a, a fifth yeah. round draft pick by the way. A plumber. Yeah, a plumber. <laughs> a plumber. <laughs> he's he's on he's on people's wide receiver boards, folks. Keep an yeah, eye on him. Keep got, an eye he, on him. Yeah. He's, you know, plumbing and, you know, just on Sundays, he's, you know, scoring six, you know, against the whoever, the Vikings, the, the he'll score against the Bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a He had a crazy fantasy season last year. I got him on my fantasy team right now this year as well, but he's kind of riding the bench right now because I got high hopes for Michael Thomas. Really? Let's hear it, mate. Let's, let's get a healthy Michael Thomas. Let's, get, let's, let's hope he has, it keeps his year straight. Uh, yeah, I think – yeah, absolutely. I don't blame you for keeping Renfro on the bench and keeping see what Thomas does first. Absolutely. If yeah. Thomas can play a full season, in my opinion, he's still a top five wide receiver. If he can get yeah, – if, if, if Winston can get the ball to him, absolutely he's a top five wide receiver. I agree. I think the I think the, I think the, the skill players on the Saints are really good too. They're, uh, they have really underrated players as well. I mean, obviously they're kind of, you know, short staff on the tight end position. Besides Taysom Hill, obviously, hopefully we get to see him at tight end a lot this year like a – Wing back type position, but Michael Thomas is obviously going to be wide receiver one. They got Chris Olave now. They got uh, Traquan Smith, Alvin Kamara, Mark Ingram. You know, it's a pretty deep skill position for the like for the entire team, really. Yeah, right. Now, all right. Let's uh, let's wrap this one up. Let's close out. I got one more. Let's talk about one more uh, headline from this week. Obviously, it needs to be mentioned. Um, R.I.P. to the Queen. 
right, well, let's go ahead and take. Let's go ahead and take uh, all the dogs out there. If you're in your car listening, if you're at work, whatever. Everybody, we're gonna take one minute of silence. Okay. Psych, bitch. We fucking won in 1984, dude. <laughs> Fuck good. me, was, bro. I, Fuck soccer, dude. No, Fuck football, dude. We play soccer here, dude. The only football <laughs> that gets played on this in this country right here, dude, is on the motherfucking gridiron. All right. Get that stuff off my Twitter feed, bro. I ain't a part of the uh, Commonwealth no more. It's fucking woo. Sorry, boys. Got a little hyped up on that one. So I got a little, got a little juiced up. Dude, on I didn't that know one, how dude. I was. I I did not know how I was gonna make it a minute without dying. <laughs> dude, we won in seventeen eighty four, bro. Get off Twitter. Quit was, talking about the Queen. I was about to take my headphones out of my ear because <laughs> I was not gonna be able to stand that. <laughs> I was literally gonna put. I was probably gonna turn. I was probably just gonna leave, bro. Like I, I, I could have done it a minute. Um, that was three seconds, and it felt like the longest three seconds of my life. Yeah, dude. We got, but, hey, come up, on. we got a live update here, boys. Alabama, Texas, ten ten, and Texas's uh, starting quarterback has gone down. Oh, dang. Oh, I love that. What, well, dude? Oh. <laughs> uh, not, right, not the right. when, when, sa- when he says when he says he loves that. I'll, I'll say I know what he means. He means he he, he wants him to have a, a good. Uh, hope he comes back healthy. Yeah, speed your recovery, dude. Hope, hope that spread covers, boys. Hope that spread covers. <laughs> hope the spread covers. Yeah, as long as he's not dead, uh, quit being a pussy, Quinn Ewers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right, well, I think sorry, that's I, we're at we're at like a thirty-six minute mark. I think that kind of a good little short podcast kind of. Get an introduction to us, kind of that. That's the vibe right there, guys. It's just us bullshitting, talking about sports, very open to the shittings or the the lambasting in the comments. Like, please, dude. I love it. And Rest share in your peace opinions. to the queens. Yeah, dude. Uh, or, yeah, yeah, dude. Thoughts of ever being on Twitter because her Twitter life is just <laughs> it's <laughs> done, bro. Bro, a queen dies, dude, and a podcast is born, dude. It's a cycle of life, right? Dude, did did y'all see? Did y'all see the one where it was like when she sees uh. When she sees, uh, oh, who was it? The other, the, uh, oh, I'm not going to be able to Oh, Princess Diana? Like memes of her. Yeah, yeah Prince Princess Diana's Diana. about to give her the hands, dude, at the gate. I guarantee it, bro. I guarantee it. Hey, props, props to her, though. New Zealand couldn't take her out, but, you know, age got her. Oh, age, bro. The age. common denominator, bro. It comes for you, dude. Whether, whether you're in the fucking, you're a monarch, dude. Or you're sitting here talking about dumb sports on a podcast. Dude, it's coming. All right? It's coming. Let me get But no. Guys, I think we're going to sign out. Please follow us on Twitter. Subscribe to the to the channel if you haven't, dude. Fucking oh, hit that wait, motherfucking Dalton, bell. Wait, Dylan. What? Dalton, what's your, what? college, what's your college hot take of the day? College hot take of the day? Oh, Florida, Florida by 20. Florida by 20. You heard it here first, boys. Dylan, what you got? Horns up. Horns up. Horns up. Horns up. Horns, horns, up. <laughs> horns up. They're coming back. Oh, no. <laughs> What's no your day? Let's go. Let's go Arkansas by 14, boys. Oh. Let's go, dude. I'm I'm, a, I'm I'm rocking with KJ this year, guys. I hope you are, too. Let's go. KJ. That's another Mississippi boy. Let's hear yeah, it. dude. Mississippi made sip. Shout out, ship. Yeah, so. We're gonna have to put we're gonna have to put our hashtags down on the on the bottom for the end like you know the end of the episode going forward like the uh the for the shoe the fins up <laughs> oh yeah so what, what, what are we doing this week I think it's Bills Mafia uh, dude Bills Mafia bro that was the high yeah, that was, that was the take this year this week let's go. yeah let's go. it's Bills Mafia yeah, dude or, Rams Ram horn, get the the horns down for the Rams. <laughs> oh yeah, dude! Horns, Horns down, down for Rams. Rams. Bills Mafia's up on top. Go put your fucking mortgage on it, boys, uh, and make some money, yeah. dude. Get your money out of those damn cryptocurrencies and put it in the fucking casino, dude. It's time to make some cash. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Hey, boys, I've had a blast. Yeah, it's dog. been a great. It's been a great first episode. Uh, I think so. It's fun. Yes, it's fun. All right, guys. We hope y'all join next week. We will try and start recording on Fridays. Kind of have this thing out on Friday evenings or Saturday mornings or whatever. But uh, we'll come to you when we come to you. How about that? We'll absolutely try to get you the picks before the game starts. <laughs> yeah, we'll try. But we'll if try, not, we'll you can best. you can roast how bad our picks are after the games. <laughs> well, after you, you after you put after you put them in. <laughs> yeah, you, you can come tell us how bad our picks were. So whatever, dogs. Though, well, we appreciate you listening. Though, tune in next time. We'll see you then. Bye.